Hi guys, it's my welcome back to Jinx. So it's your girl when you come back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about my small minor car accident, or should I say KK accident? <laughs> so basically, I dislocated my foot, and as per doctor's orders, I'm supposed to prop it up on a pillow, do heat compress, apply neurogestic, and I'm keeping weight off the leg. <laughs> oh I am doing my best and I'm extremely bored because I'm in the house on this bed every day all day. I have this blood. I am hobbled. All I can do is talk. So I thought why not make a video and at least have something doing. Goodness Christ. It took me like 45 minutes just to set up on one leg because it was not fun. But I went through a lot. I almost fell down like four times. But at least the setup is done. We thank God. First of all, isn't she the cutest teddy you've ever seen? Her name is Petunia. Say hi Petunia in the comment section. This is her debut, her YouTube debut. Hi. Hi. On Friday the 25th of August, I had a couple friends over. I have a guy friend that stays around so sometimes he comes to the house and he came over as well. Then we remember that we haven't gotten a birthday present from one of our friends and his birthday is 27th of August. So we're like, should we go and get him now? But it was already like after 6 on Friday. In hindsight, we shouldn't have gone to get it. <laughs> we should have waited Saturday morning. But we went, we had seen what we wanted to buy before. It was 900, but it wasn't looking too sexy. So we thought we'll find something better at the fancy supermarket, right? So we went to the supermarket. Why is it that we wanted to buy? was 9,000 era in the supermarket. What's going on? Make it make sense. It wasn't making sense. It wasn't making sense. So we're like, what the hell? We're not gonna do that. But we stayed around for a bit. We took some pictures. We're having fun. We're looking at the prices of things. And we're having a good time. Like we're literally taking snaps, right? And then we're like, it's already kind of late. Cause of after seven. Are we really gonna walk back? We should have walked back. So. <laughs> We took a keke from the print. For those of you that don't know what keke mara looks like, it's a tricycle. It's the yellow thing that has no doors and it's like three tired, whatever. So we took a keke to the 900 Naira place to see if we can still get the stuff. It was a cereal container or something like that. So the road is like this. It's like a, what's it called? Junction? We're going straight. And then this car is speeding like a mad person down and there's like a turn he wants to turn we're going straight he wants to turn here you get it. but he's not trafficking or anything so the keke man is trying to avoid the mad person that's driving down about to collide collision with us and everything scatter he goes like ooh to try and avoid the guy that's coming like he goes like you get it. and then in the ooh we didn't have enough and so we flip bush right so we're on the floor and we're trying to get ourselves right you guys are you okay are you okay we're trying to stand up while the keke is this way so it was me ife fikumi so fikumi fell on ife and ife fell on my leg right and that's how it got like in our confusion as we're trying to stand up people gathered around like oh my gosh are you guys okay and like poo raised the keke back which now like ch -ch -ch, the more i didn't even realize in the beginning that the leg was pinning me i felt like oh i landed on my leg badly it hurts right but it wasn't like too bad and i was wearing my favorite pair of jeans and it got ripped because i landed on this side right so my bum my right buttock is in pain my knees all scratched up and my left leg is hurting I'm like, you guys, how are we going, going to get back home? Because I'm too scared to enter Kekemara again after all this just happened. People kept asking, are you okay? Are you okay? Blah, 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 blah. Throughout this entire ordeal, my phone did not leave my hand. <laughs> it was like, I was like this true up. And we we're just on the side of the road. The car was crying. I was shaking. If I was laughing, it was an entire experience that I did not wish on anybody, right? So, well, I can't be going to get back home because I'm not entering a camera right, not realizing how much pain I was in. So eventually everybody comes down and we're like, you know what, let's start going home, let's walk. So we're walking and I'm like, 
shite. <laughs> that hurts. Because I felt like a, it went like poof. Yeah. And that's when it, re it registered in my head that, yo, you're in pain. So I'm like, you guys, I do not think I can walk that distance. My leg hurts, right? But we're still kind of freaked out because the keke just flipped when we were inside, right? And we're the only passengers inside. You know what the funny thing is? The the driver that almost ran into us didn't even stop, didn't even slow down, didn't even look back. My guy kept going. And what he's going to meet is between him and God. Because I won't cuss him. I won't cuss him. I won't say But yeah. So when we looked up, when we like came to and everybody was calm, before we started trying to walk back. We looked around and my guy had dipped with his keke. <laughs> All the bread and everything was scattered everywhere. Everything was cleared up. Like nothing happened. Like like it was in our minds. As we imagined it. And it was so weird. It was so funny how something that, you know, crazy, even though it was minor, could just happen like that. And nobody would know. Like Two minutes after if you're driving down you wouldn't know if something just happened right anyways back to my story we're trying to walk back but i'm in pain so the cars carries me the kumi carries me on her back and we're going well obviously i know that there's no way we just all fell and it's only me in pain but they were too shocked to even feel that they were in pain as well so they carried me to the place we walked down a bit but it wasn't going to be possible to walk all the way back so we had to enter the Camaro eventually and I don't know about the rest of them but when I was in the Kekamara I was praying I was speaking in multiple tongues <laughs> because the first one was okay bugugush don't let it be wah, 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 you get so we got we got to our streets because they don't enter the streets we got to our streets like what's it called gate so I go inside so I'm walking on the leg but it hurts I'm just like, Pfft. yeah, there was a little, when you like, K-drama thing, you know, the car flipped, oh yeah, we are thinking like, it was like a joke thing, right? And so they massaged the leg with Aboni keys, and that was a terrible, terrible, terrible experience. And they used hot water to massage the leg, and you know, we played games, like Ludo, cards and stuff, it was chill, until I had to go upstairs, because in my house, there's upstairs and my room is upstairs where i sleep is upstairs right so i'm like yeah. my leg hurts right i go upstairs sha after a lot and i came to bed i went to bed i was just like mm, oh well by tomorrow it should be better tomorrow came tomorrow came and it was not better it was worse it was worse. I woke up forgetting about the injury and like tried to step on the leg and I was like <laughs> That's how the alarms were ringing in my head. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm like shit <laughs> It hurt. I had to wake my mom because I woke up to use the toilet, right? I had to wake my mom up. I'm like yo I can't walk to the bathroom and I really need to pee. So she has to like assist me we get to the bathroom, I do my thing, my leg is hurting, come back to the room and she's like, oh, wow, it's like this thing is a little more than we thought, right? Let's go to the hospital so she gets ready. I can't for the life of me even start thinking about how to have my back because my leg is hurting. So I just went like that. I literally went how I woke up. Didn't brush, didn't, didn't do anything, didn't even spray perfume. I was just like, let's get let's go and see what's wrong because my legs pain. we got to the um, specialist so we just did the x-ray with them and then we went down to the hospital to get like see a doctor and first of all let's go back to that x-ray guy when we wanted to get the, the x-ray my guy saw me limping i was i'm literally hopping on one foot because i can't put any weight on the leg at all because it hurts even while i'm hopping it's still hurting this leg but you know the, the the saddest part about this is I landed on this leg, so it still hurts. Like all these top bits and my knee still hurts. But I have to put all my weight on this leg because this leg can't take anything. So this leg is also going through a lot. And honestly, it's done well, my leg. 
So you see me hopping, you see me hopping on my right leg, and I'm about to take an extra and you're doing my leg giddy back, giddy back. I'm like, bro, it's painful. He's not like, oh, sorry. I can't move my toes. I couldn't move my toes. I couldn't even do this thing, this thing, because this is like three days after. So it's much better. I can raise up my leg like this. I can move my toes. I couldn't do that before. And my man is just moving my leg like I said. It's it's a piece of meat. I was pained. I was this close to crying, but I didn't. I cried when I when I got home the day of the accident. I'm not gonna lie. It really really hurt. <laughs> when I had to climb the staircase. So we did the x-ray, we went down to the hospital. The the doctor was very weird, but I just going to leave that to the side. He now took the thing, looked at the sky. Oh, there's no fracture, but there's a slight dislocation. I was like, what? What? I've never been dislocated before. Oh my god. So I was happy. Not happy, like oh my gosh, yay. But I was I was happy that it was a good story to tell. So he was like, I should just keep the weight off it, prop it up on a pillow whenever I'm sitting on lying down, you know, get enough rest, take a prescription painkillers and neurogestic balm. When I had to go to the hospital, I had to go downstairs. My cousin had to back me. And when I got back, my friend had to back me back up the stairs. And I've been upstairs since then. So if there's food, they bring it upstairs. Water, they bring it upstairs. If I need help, they bring it upstairs. And I'm, I have not left this bed, and I'm so bored. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna make a video today. I don't care. So yeah, that's 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 the entire story, guys. Say bye to Petunia. And if you've ever dislocated or fractured any part of your body, please let me know in the comments, and I promise I'll reply you because I literally have nothing else to do. <laughs> So that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you next week wednesday bye